and a pro mode for anyone that wants to get more specific with their shooting. You change the focal length, change the shutter speed, change the ISO. Again, we've seen this with the Samsung S10. Not super unique, but it's useful to have. What's up guys, Buchanan here with Tech the Lead at Mobile World Congress. We're at the Show Me Showroom to show you the new Mi 9 smartphone. This one's a little different. It's actually designed off the new movie Alita Battle Angel. It's pretty dope. It comes with a whopping 12 gigabytes of RAM, so it's super powerful. And it also shares the same features as the other editions. So let's check it out. The design of the Mi 9 is a little different than what we've seen so far at Mobile World Congress. As you can see, it has a teardrop shape. From the back, like most smartphones we've seen so far at the conference, it has three cameras. Each camera has a different focal length. So the first one is telephoto, middle one's a standard image with 48 megapixels, and the bottom is an ultra wide with 16 megapixels. So let's take a look and see what they look like. So as you can see, the interface, pretty similar to other smartphones we've seen. You click the button here, shoots it to telephoto, switch it back to standard. This button here on the left will change it to ultra wide. Nothing super unique about the design, but it's very practical and it works. When you switch it to selfie mode, the Mi 9 comes with a 20 megapixel selfie camera. So you can get all those beauty shots you want. It also comes with different modes and a pro mode for anyone that wants to get more specific with their shooting. You change the focal length, change the shutter speed, change the ISO. Again, we've seen this with the Samsung S10. Not super unique, but it's useful to have. Another interesting thing we found about this phone is if you look at the sides, see this red button here? It's a dedicated Google Assistant button. You press it, Google pops up, you can ask her whatever you want. Another cool feature is this dual SIM card slot. But unfortunately, you can't add extra storage to the phone, which is a bummer since we just saw here at Mobile World Congress, Micron just released a one terabyte micro SD card. That'd be pretty cool to put into this, but you're not able to, unfortunately. Another cool feature of the Mi 9 that we've seen through all phones here at Mobile World Congress is the ultrasonic fingerprint technology. You put your thumb on the screen and you unlock the phone. Pretty cool technology, but we've seen it throughout other phones here as well. Along with the transparent edition, you can also get the Mi 9 in ocean blue, lavender violet, and black. So like other flagship phones we've seen here at Mobile World Congress, the Mi 9 comes with the Snapdragon 855 processor, which is top of the class, common in all flagship phones we've seen here so far. Another cool feature about this phone is that it has turbo charge. So this sets it apart from other smartphones in the sense that it'll charge a lot quicker and will hold a longer charge. Finally, this phone does not come with a time of flight sensor, which is interesting because we've seen it on the LG G8, we've seen it on other phones here at the conference, but this does not have any 3D uh, recognizing technology or any 3D depth of field technology. After getting my hands on the new Mi 9, I must say it feels pretty good. Uh, the screen's a lot thinner, it's narrower than most phones I've seen here at Mobile World Congress, but I must say it, some of the features are a little standard and we've seen them across other phones here. Some key features though that I really like is this teardrop. Uh, it's not intrusive. The selfie camera is really nice, it looks great. The cameras with the ultra wide lens looks awesome. I love that the fact that you have Google Assistant button on the side. Overall, this is definitely a contender in the whole flagship department of smartphones here at Mobile World Congress. We've seen the S10, we've seen the LG G8. This is one that's definitely up there with those top dogs. Um, we'd love to see some new features maybe coming out in the next model, but overall, this is definitely a strong contender. So again, I'm Buchanan with Tech The Lead. Make sure you subscribe, click the bell at the bottom. We'll see you next time.